Hi everyone, uh, my name is Sarah Orlando. I am with the Ohio Sea Grant College Program and I work with marinas and boaters across Ohio to run the Ohio Clean Marinas Program, uh, which is a voluntary certification program for that community uh, that helps them adopt environmental best management practices. So I'm here today to share with you a video uh, to provide a brief overview about Lake Erie and uh, give you a little bit of background about the Great Lakes as well. So I'm going to share my screen here and shut off my video so that you guys can watch the screen full time. Okay. So let's start with the Great Lakes. Lake Erie is one of five Great Lakes, the others being Lake Superior, Lake Huron, Lake Michigan, and Lake Ontario. Who can guess how much of the world's available surf surface freshwater is in the Great Lakes? The answer, 20%. Together, these lakes make up about 20% of the world's available surface freshwater, and Lake Erie alone provides drinking water for over 11 million people. This incredible resource is valuable not only for the water itself, but for all of the living organisms that inhabit this ecosystem. Lake Erie is unique. It is the shallowest and warmest of the Great Lakes. This is a cross section of the Great Lakes. And as you see here, Lake Erie is very shallow compared to its neighboring water bodies. I like to joke that basically the deepest point of Lake Erie, which is 210 feet deep, is as shallow as about the <laughs> shallowest part of Lake Superior. So uh, our lake is far different than a lot of the other Great Lakes in this system. Lake Erie has three regions or basins, the Western Basin, the Central Basin, and the Eastern Basin. Together, these basins cover the shoreline of Ohio from Toledo to Conneaut and all the cities in between. Lake Erie is also the southernmost and the least forested of the Great Lakes. All of the factors mentioned above, that we are the shallowest, the smallest, and the least forested of the Great Lakes play into our Lake Erie ecosystem. While Lake Erie has only about 2% of the water of all the Great Lakes, we have about 50% of the biomass or the living organisms that are inhabiting uh, this e the entire Great Lakes ecosystem. This means that there are more fish in Lake Erie than all the other Great Lakes combined. The next videos will go more in depth on the physical and biological processes in the Lake Erie ecosystem. I hope you've enjoyed this brief intro to Lake Erie and feel free to contact me with questions or follow us online for social media. With that, I'll sign off from Ohio State and Ohio Sea Grant and hope you enjoy the rest of the videos in this video series. We hope that you enjoy this environmental education video series on water. This was created by a collaborative effort, including Bendix, Lorain County Commissioners, 4-H STEM, Black River Watershed, Local Yaks, Lorain County Farm Bureau, Lorain County Metro Parks, Lorain Soil and Water Conservation District, Ohio Sea Grant, Ohio Department of Natural Resources, Local FFA Chapters, the Ohio State University Extension, and Lorain County 4-H.